Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So recently I did an Instagram post where I asked a lot of my followers if they wanted to see a video where I talk about all the equipment that I use. Uh, a lot of them said yes, probably 90% of them said yes. And so I decided to create a what's in my camera bag video. So I hope you guys like and we'll get right to it. To start off, I wanna talk about the bag. I really love this bag. I have the Low Pro Tactic 350. Um, as you can see, it's super stylish, super sleek, just all black. Um, and then on the back, it has like the foam, which I love because I'm super small. And so for me, the support on my back is, it's amazing for this bag. I go hiking a lot. And a lot of times I want to go and shoot some stuff where I do have to hike or I travel a lot. And this bag is very durable. It gives you great support. And it still looks brand new, even though I've like put it through the mud. Like it's it's a really good bag. To start off, as you open it, you have the computer slot. This is where I put my 13 inch. I think it, the 350 can only fit a 13 inch, but they actually have a 450 if you need something bigger. Um, and then as you can see, it has the two ports that I use for like my Sony batteries or anything like that. Um, so I'll put them up top. It also has the pouch that I use to put like you know, all of my wires, you know, different things like that, batteries, screws, whatever it needs, I have that as well. And I put it all in this pouch. So as far as equipment goes, the first thing I have in my bag is the Canon 5D Mark III. I love this um, with the 51.4. This beauty, first of all, this full setup is amazing. The 50 on the 5D Mark III produces great images not only do i do videos but i also shoot a lot of photography with my business partner the nifty 50 you should always have a nifty 50 it's just a really good focal length a uh, really good lens this is the 1.4 so the depth of field is is pretty like really good um and so this is like really really great setup for my portraits the other lens i have is the 85 1.8 this is the canon 85 1.8 I love this lens. The depth of field is phenomenal on this lens. I use this lens for headshots, um, portraits. It has a circular polarizer filter on it, as well as the ND4 filter on it. Um, but this is a really good lens. Between the 50 and the 85, I'm pretty much set as far as, I like fixed lenses, so I'm pretty much set in the photography department. I can always get 100, I can always go and get like a 35 or something like that. But for what I need right now, they do pretty good. The next thing that I have is this bad boy, the Sony A6300. Um, I love this camera. I shoot all of my videos on this camera. I do not use my 5D Mark III anymore to shoot videos. For the most part, I use my Sony. Um, as you can see, the small rig is attached to it. I also have other adapters that I use. So I use these to create a full rig if I need to. Sometimes this doesn't have image stabilization, so you know I can attach this to it. So let me show you. I can attach this, and then this can kind of go to the top. So I'm holding it. Um, I love that aspect of it. Super quick to set up. It comes with the kit already. And then with those attachments, I can put like monitors and mics and everything that I need on it. But this is a powerhouse, especially for the price. It's, I, I got this for 800, shoots 4K, um, shoots 1080 at 120 frames. Um, it does have some cons, of course, but for the most part, for what I shoot, this is my go-to. I love this bad boy. My life has changed ever since I bought this camera. So if you're needing a cheap video camera, I would recommend getting the Sony a6300. Um, it's really good camera, honestly. Um, and with that being said, you have to have a great audio. And so the mic that I have is the Rode Video Micro. I love this mic. Um, even though it's super small, it actually does gives really good sound. Literally, you just plug it in and you're set to go. You don't have to, it doesn't have an on and off switch. The only thing about it is the longer you have it, the more this kind of like gets loose and it can just easily kind of come off. But outside of that, this is a really, really good mic. It's not too big. So like when you're vlogging or if you just are trying to be discreet, 
Um, it's not like super in your face, so I love this. So the next thing I have is the story behind it. I'm a big follower of Jacob Owens and he does a lot of giveaways and he did a giveaway and I actually won. So he sent me a box of a lot of things that he didn't use. Um, it had like mics, it had a lot of GoPro stuff, it had a Polaroid and then it had this adapter. This is the Metabones adapter and this did me wonders because at the time that I purchased my Sony, um, I didn't have any lens and I didn't have, really, I just had the kit lens. And so um, in order to use the lens that I have, which was Canon lens, I kind of had to have an adapter and getting this for free, it's kind of just like, it It really helps. Now, using a Canon lens on your Sony, especially with this, this adapter, I couldn't get all the functions with my Sony. So the autofocusing wasn't great you know, which is a bigger, which is kind of like one of the biggest things that I needed. But I, this was definitely needed. Thank you so much, Jacob. I truly appreciate it. I use this till this day. Like I love this little thing and it was, it made such a difference. Like something like this just made such a difference in my video production. And sometimes you just have to use what you have until you can get what you want. And because I didn't have Sony lenses or anything for my Sony, I just had to use Canon's and this came at a perfect time. The newcomer that I have, I actually just purchased this lens and I needed it because I rented out a lot and I realized, okay, I need to at least buy one lens that I can have for my Sony. Like at least one to where I'm not just using my Canon lenses and so the lens that I decided to purchase and go with was the Sigma 18 through 35 I had heard so many good reviews about it um, it's a 1.8 so it's the depth of field is amazing um, does really good in low light works perfectly with my Sony 6300 because it's cropped and my Sony's cropped so you actually get the 18 to 35 focal length um, unlike sometimes when I'm using like a 24 through 70 or the 50 on my Canon or the 85 on my Canon um, so this lens was amazing and I wanted just one lens that I can kind of use for a lot of my stuff on the go and so this I felt like with the Sony it was just a great bundle um, so I'm glad I got this this is the this is the baby the new addition to the family and because I got that I also got the this adapter which is the MC 11 adapter and the reason why I got this is because I can use all the functions for my Sony so the auto focusing I could it's still as good as if I was using my native lens a Sony native lens so auto focusing is actually pretty fast but um, this is the MC 11 adapter that I purchased with my new lens. So I have chargers, I have tape, um, batteries. Like I said, I have three I have three batteries for my Canon. Um, this is where I keep all my cards. You never know when you're gonna need tape, so definitely always make sure you have tape. And then, you know, my charger for my Sony. So like all this type of stuff, of course, goes into your bags. Those are the essentials that you need. And last but not least, <sighs> this baby girl my Mavic Pro I love her I take her uh, wherever I go even if I don't use it because you just never know if you will or won't use a drone to get beautiful shots this cr creates beautiful imagery and I also have of course the controller with it because you kind of have to have a controller in order to be able to use the drone boom so yeah I have both of these I always take this with me um, because no matter where I go I'm probably gonna try to get at least one drone shot. Besides all the SD cards and all those type of things, I didn't wanna get into like the small, super small things. Kinda of wanted to show you the overall big things that I use. The last thing that I use is just for my everyday, remember this is still just everyday, um, is the Polar Pro filters. For my drone, it's the ND4-8N16, I, I think. But yeah, basically I, uh, I use these whenever it's super sunny outside. I kinda of want to get that nice contrast uh, and not have to like put my shutter all the way, you know, raise my shutter super high to be able to get really good uh, drone shots. And so I definitely use this every now and then. I don't fly my drone as much right now, but I'm hoping in the summer to fly it a lot more. But for the most part, yeah, that is literally everything in my bag. This is my everyday camera bag. I like to travel light. I don't feel like you have to buy all this equipment. You have to have all of this. As long as you work with what you have and you, you know, learn to just use what you got, I promise you, you can be great. Like it's not about the equipment. It's really about you perfecting your eye um, and learning just how to 
work with your equipment uh so yeah thank you guys for watching if you like this video make sure you hit the like button also if you have any questions about my gear if you're interested in purchasing some things uh let me know leave a comment below and also if you're interested in knowing more about all the gear that i use for my video production because this is only just for everyday travel, but I also do a lot of client work where I use a lot of different equipment that I really didn't speak about, like the type of mic that I'm using as well as the monitor that I'm using. Um, just make sure you check out my kit at www.kit.com slash Brittany Janae. I show you everything that I use from beginning to end on all of my video production. It has my full kit, whether it's for everyday or whether it's for client work. Um, I do interviews and BTS and things like that. Also, if you're new to photography and you're new to video, you might want to check out my kit as well because I created two kits, one for beginner photographers and one for beginner videographers. And it's just kind of little recommendations of what I feel could help you guys. Um, if you're getting into it and you don't know what lens I should get or what camera I should get, I'm getting into this, I'm new, where should I start? Check out the kits that I created. Um, it's all optional, it's all opinionated, it's all just my recommendation. You can get what you feel like you want, but it does kind of help in a sense if you're just completely new and you just don't know where to start. Um, I'm always open to answer questions, so let me know. If you're not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, please. Um, and just hit the like button to make sure you guys share. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, and hope to talk to you guys soon.